Are you going to make a movement? Oh, goodness. Show that turd who's boss. There you go. That's good job there, buddy. Hooey! Everyone's out. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity to take a little tour. Yeah, you're going to attack that? But we've got all these guys doing well. Sometimes it's fun just to appreciate what we have, relax, check up on them. This is how we know if the animals are doing well. What's going on everybody? Ken in here and uh, today we're just hanging out with the animals. It's that simple. I just got done cleaning waters and uh, doing a few odds and ends. There's still a few things I need to do but it's actually become such a cool time of day. Uh, cool in the figurative, fig, figuratively speaking, not literally, but, uh, literally speaking. <laughs> I can't speak at all. Anyway, it's pretty cool what's going on with the animals they're all just on super chill mode hanging out so i thought why don't we go out wander around see what everyone's doing at the height of the day let's do it so i'm just hanging out here with the snow leopards and these guys are doing extremely well there are the two males right there. One's just taking a bath and one's just debating whether or not he wants to get into it. I'm on my belly behind me are some of the females. Oh, let's get up. Let's, let's go ahead and go for it. We'll get ourselves up, brush ourselves off. Got my favorite t-shirt on today. Uh, there's one of the females. Uh, they're just kind of hanging out here because of course it is extremely hot. Um, you know, so they're hanging out in the shade. But I was really kind of pleased with what was going on with the animals because Everyone was just kind of relaxing and I wanted to share that with you. We always want the animals to be doing something. Here's the leprechauna. Uh, we always want the animals to be doing something because um, maybe it's more exciting, but sometimes for me, the excitement is just seeing them relaxed uh, in their habitats, in their enclosures. I wanted to kind of give you guys an update also on these little brutes. Uh, how about this? Here are the baby snow leopards. Look at this. Is this gorgeous? These guys start out looking normal. Whoops, that was my head. But as they grow, they just get more of that light coloration like the adults. And so the black becomes less and less prominent as they grow. And these two are doing well. I sold one of the others. Uh, there were three, I did sell one of them. I'm holding these two back because I, I just, I love them. And uh, I think they're doing awesome. So these little guys are doing well. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, oh yeah, I wanted to kind of show them off because they're so pretty. But let's go in, see what the lizards are doing. Here's, uh, we're gonna go see Stumpy and Crazy Sophia. Just got done changing the water. And what was really cool is how, how calm everyone was. Now, Crazy Sophia may not be calm. She's always looking for food. Here she is, she's growing nicely. And then look at, look at Stumpy, man. He's such a regal dude, even with his little stumpy tail. I just love this guy. Um, these guys are cool, man. These guys are going to be moving out into that new iguana enclosure whenever I get around to fixing it. I do have all the materials, but unfortunately it's just real hot and motivation is uh, waning in this kind of heat. Um, but anyhow, really stoked on these two growing up nicely. We'll have another here, another pair, and hopefully these guys will breed uh, when she gets probably next year. She'll be ready to breed. So there you have it. Look at that guy. He's so cool. Whoa. What's the matter? What's the matter? I might, he might see himself in the lens there of the camera. All right, well, let's let him relax. Uh, these guys all ate yesterday, so they don't need to worry about eating right now. And now let's go see what's happening with Slinky. And this is what happens from time to time, guys, when we're here at the camp. I mean, the animals just kind of relax while I'm doing things. I'm always having things to clean. There's slinks. He's just catching some rays and I love it. We got the water going. We got a bunch of little tadpoles. I'm not sure what species they are. I think they might be a tree frog, but here's Slinky and he's going to come investigate, but he's shedding nicely. He's growing up big and strong. Uh, everything's good. We got um, Pinky back in her enclosure. Um, I just wanted to introduce them, which we did a couple videos ago, and uh, they're doing well. 
So we'll go see Pinky here in a minute. But where's, what's going on? Look at Lola. And here comes Guapo down from his perch. He loves to sunbathe up top here because it warms up nice. But here's Guap's. Hey, buddy. How you doing? How you doing, Guapo? I've had Guapo since August of 2004. I got him and Lola at the exact same time from Doug Beard. And these two have been just fantastic animals for me. Really love hanging out with them. Uh, probably spend a lot of time in here with them uh, and Slinky. Just because, oh, are you gonna make a movement? Oh, goodness. What are you gonna do? You know what they say about poop, right? Well, this is good. I gotta be honest, guys, this is uh, fantastic. Remember, we were having problems with his digestion earlier this year. Um, and it looks like he's got no problems now. Let's get that turd out there, buddy. Show that turd who's boss. There you go. So this makes sense because he's been laying all morning long on that hot roof, warming his body up. And that's what enables these guys to digest as well as they do. They really got to warm their bodies up so that digestion takes place. Look at how careful he is too. He'll just kind of pull that tail away. He doesn't want the tail to go in the poop. So that's very nice. Good job there, buddy. Good job, guapo. I love this guy. You gonna come up and say hello to me? Yeah? Of course, we also have Chinese box turtles. These guys are doing well. Uh, everyone's just kicking butt. So, I don't know. I just like these kind of videos where we just kind of hang out, kind of see a bunch of the animals and see how they're doing, how they're faring, give you guys an update. I think you guys are here to learn as much as I'm trying to learn myself. So Guapo comes over to say hello to me, shakes his head. I think he's trying to talk to his significant other. She is just such a beautiful specimen, if you ask me. Really love her. All right, you guys are doing good, man. Thank you very much for coming over to say hello. And that's how you know he likes getting scratched. Look at this one eye, kind of closes a little bit. Oh yeah, right there behind the jowls. All right, awesome. Oh, sorry, bud. Uh, here's a little blackhead python. Very good. Look at that guy, just kind of hanging out. Again, everyone's kind of taking in the afternoon sun. Oh, you gonna be in a good mood or a bad mood? Am I waking you up, buddy? These are just really beautiful pythons. Uh, I love this snake. These are burrowing species, as I have mentioned in the past, but they will come out and bask. So the snakes are doing just that. So awesome. All right. I don't want to upset them. I love when they're out. They feel nice and comfortable in their enclosures where they can bask and just behave in a more naturalistic way rather than lay under a light. You know what I mean? There we go. Get that shut. Uh, the two... Timor pythons, however, <laughs> these guys are both cozied up in there. So they're just going to hang out there. We got some sheds and some poop and some fur pellets that need to be removed. But let's go to an animal that is looking gorgeous right now. And that is the hog island boas. Just freshly shed. Look at this gal. Freshly shed. She's already looking for something to eat, but she ate the other day, didn't you? Didn't you eat the other day, yay? That's not, that's not food, kid. This is not food, dude. Come on. Look at that. How beautiful is this snake? I love the kind of muted colors. She's kind of pale. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. I think this is the male, I think. Uh, nope, this is the female, in fact. So that is the female, the male is right there. That's the male, man. All right. And again, she's kind of in her little S position. So that usually means she's defensive. She may strike out, but look at that tail. Such a beautiful snake, really beautiful light coloration. 
Okay, we'll let her alone. Hooey! So I'm kind of mellow like the animals, I guess. Um, it's just cool to see them. Everyone's out. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity to take a little tour. Everyone is out. These two are hanging out. I think Slink's in the water now. Oh wait, before we go, maybe a little update. Oh, hi there, Solomon. Hey, buddy. He was out last night. We gave him some food. He ate a bunch of it, but his girlfriend did not as of yet. But the funny thing is about her is, there she is. She's nestled into there and she's doing well. She's just very, very shy and doesn't like to come out much. So, hey, whatever. It's your life, kid. I just try and make it as nice as possible for you. So they're doing well. Um, yeah, I see he sees my, he'll bite you. He'll bite you real good. So uh, you gotta watch out for these Solomon Island skinks because those jaws are extremely powerful. <laughs> All right, let's go. Here we go. Slinky's out and about. I know you guys were concerned about Pinky. Don't worry, I didn't leave them in together long. I would never risk the life of Pinky. But here is Slinky. We're going to come on up behind him. And he always gets a little bit concerned that I'm going to step on him. And that makes sense. I'm a big clumsy oaf. But I won't do it today, bud. I promise. So he's going to kind of crawl around and let him do his thing. See you, Slinks. All right. So cool, man. I like filling you guys in on what's been happening, too. Uh, just a little maintenance. We've got those bamboo plants I'm going to plant this fall that I cut down from over here. Hey, let's go in and see... Uh, Petra and Petra. Let's see what they're up to. They're looking pretty good. She laid eggs recently. We got them incubating. Here are the cherry heads. Hi. Lots of cherry heads. Oh my gosh. Look at all the cherry heads wandering around. Come on, guys. There's Darth Maul. Hi, Darth Maul. We are be we've been getting uh, cherry head eggs, which is nice. I love getting the eggs. It's that time of year where we get cherry heads and red for tortoise eggs. So look for babies in December. It takes a while for them to hatch. They ate all their food. Let's go check them out. One of their fluker water bowls. I like using the smaller water bowls. They fill up and overflow. Hi, baby. How are you? You did a good job, Mama. 13 eggs again this year from this gal. So let's see how many hatch again. She's extremely fertile. Uh, last year we had 100% hatch rate. And there's the proud father. There he is. That is Petro. Petro and Petra, really, really cool uh, lizards. Rhinoceros iguanas, they're from the island of Hispaniola, where you can find the countries of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Um, just beautiful, look at the horns. These are multi-horned rhino iguanas. Yeah, you gonna attack that? Yeah? What do you got there, kiddo? She sees her own reflection in the uh, camera. Yeah, you can't, no, it's not food. It's not food, hon. <laughs> Is she licking you guys? Hold on, let me help you out. She's kind of nibbling, nibbling away on you. I think that's better. I might have smudged the lens. I don't know. But this is not food you ate yesterday. And he's just super relaxed, so. And this is gurgling. And then it'll pour out more water. There you go. It just dribbles. All right, guys, I'm going to let you alone. Oh, look at this beauty, huh? I love them. Such cool lizards. All right. Let me show you what else is happening. Oh, this one. What are you doing? What are you doing? You trying to get something to eat over there? Here. Let me help you. There's some elephant ear for you. And these guys love elephant ear. Uh, and they're able to eat it, um, which mammals mostly can't because of the crystals in the, in the plant, uh, you know, in the plant itself. So what's funny is these guys don't mind it. They do fine with it. And pretty soon, all that elephant ear will be gone pretty quick. So, not bad. The elongateds, hiding out in the shade. All right. But we're going to move on pretty quick. Because I noticed something. I, I cleaned out one of the Aquascape ecosystem ponds yesterday. And I had my discharge hose in the driveway. And I didn't realize, but look at this hole I made. Um, I'm going to have to come over here with my shovel and get on this hole here all the sand kind of blew out so i've got to do that but the cool thing 
is I had a pump that my dad gave me many, many years ago. This pump's got to be 50 years old. And uh, my pop gave me that pump right there. I cleaned out the carburetor, got it working. I can do water changes real fast now. So this pond's doing extremely well. There's a little ambienensis right there. A little Cora ambienensis just hanging out, nibbling away on whatever aquatic life is is under there. I think he's going to skedaddle because, you know, they are turtles and they get nervous. You're right, dude. I can't see it. Don't worry about that. It's so funny. Turtles, they, they go under thinking that they can't be seen. Here's one of the radiated tortoises talking to Herb, the statue turtle. Hi, Herb. Hi, uh, there's uh, one of the radiateds. Herb's got a really funny face. But um, yeah, these guys are awesome. I've been getting eggs from them as well. So egg laying season is really beginning. In fact, just uh, on the other side of this pile of turd was a nest. Let's move that to, ew, yeah, gross. Anyway, that was a nest. Uh, here's a spider web that we're gonna do away with. Sorry, Mr. Spider. Sorry, sorry, I see you. There you go, get over there. Um, but the other thing I like is how these ponds the plants have really overtaken the ponds like all these ferns have grown out of every little nook and cranny uh through the rocks and it's totally like this place has always been so i'm actually going to do a water change uh, a service on this pond i have not done well. oh look there's one of the batiger hey guy let's give him some fluker food some of the uh, buffet blend hey buddy hi I love Badiger, huh? Aren't they beautiful? This is Badiger borneensis. And in the big pond out back, we have Badiger affinis, the southern river terrapin. These are the northern river terrapin. And uh, they're doing well. This one decided this is the pond it wants to live in. Um, so it crawled on over into it. Uh, today, I'm going to drain the water down on this. I'm going to get rid of some of the detritus that's at the bottom. We're gonna suck all that out. We're gonna clean out the filter pads and I won't have to mess with this for another six to eight months. So uh, it's a pretty good system, uh, but you know, it does need servicing from time to time. So it is what it is, but how about these guys? How, how big are they getting? This, if it is a female, will be over a hundred pounds, which is just incredible to think of a freshwater turtle that size. There's a piece for you, good girl. There's also Reeves turtles in here as well. But again, I just love how all the vegetation has grown up and uh, it's just, man, it's awesome. But you know, I scoop out some of this algae that collects. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a proper cleaning and this way uh, the pond is gonna be tip top. All right, here's the Southern Leopard Tortoise, the Pardalis Pardalis. Although scientists no longer recognize two separate species, I'm old school. Um, this is, uh, they used to have two um, leopard tortoise spe uh, subspecies. One was Pardalis pardalis, the other was Pardalis babcocci. But that's my female, she's beautiful, light colored. The male is floating around here somewhere as well. The leprechauns are leprechauning. Um, we're now gonna move on over. Oh, there's the other male leopard. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so making a mental note of all the things I need to do. I've got to make sure I fill that hole in the driveway. We got to clean out that aquascape pond, Sophia's aquascape pond, and I'm sure there's going to be about 20 other things I need to do. All right, so you guys have been watching. You know that Hercules doesn't live here anymore. Well, in this area, he lives on the camp still. He's in with the main colony of Sulcata, but here's Lumpy moving around doing well i know you guys were concerned about him he's been eating grass since i put him in here and uh super happy with the way he's recovering i just got to stay on him and make sure he's hydrated uh keep feeding him watermelon cantaloupe papaya i just really want to keep that hydration up okay let's go in and see my girlfriend lagatha now she was out a little while ago and i was able to touch her toe without her freaking out through the um through the screen of course let's shut this now the tortoises are up oh, here are the tortoises here are the elongata all right they're doing well 
it's always good to come in and check everybody and make sure they're oh shucks look at that i walked right by you i walked right by you you're as quiet as a church mouse huh there she is there's lagatha she didn't even freak out when i came in so that's really neat and you know that pattern of her it's just beautiful she can kind of blends into that dappling of sunlight you can kind of see why they have those spots because when they're living in the canopies light shining through them it kind of breaks up their outline really good camouflage easy sweetheart so she's obviously going to be a little bit more concerned because i'm actually in the enclosure with her like i said before she let me touch her claw and i spoke with her and i just tried to let her know i meant no harm but this is still guys all the cool stuff that's been going on between the two of us i'm really happy with how hello this guy is just so funny this is the male elongated and he just wants to be all up in my business um but i'm just really happy with how she's been uh, ad uh kind of adapting to me now have not even had this animal a year so imagine in two years three years what is this relationship going to be like so it's all patience folks that's all we got you know i come in i visit with her and i uh, love it really love it all right we're going to keep moving pretty cool huh so here is the new iguana cage what I need to do with that is finish it. However, I think lumber has gone up considerably in price, so I'm gonna have to uh, see what I need to finish it. And also I've received the new wire, which is more heavy duty from my friends at Knitwire. Um, I'm gonna pull out the old wire. I think my buddy Jerry is gonna help me. You remember Jerry, he's got those black throat monitors down the road. Um, he wants to come help out, which is super nice. We're just going to pull this out, try and save it. I, I'd hate to waste any of this. And I don't want to put the new stuff up over it because it would cut down on the ability to view it. Um, so I've got to pull all this off. It's going to be a bit of work. Then we're going to have to build, since the new wire only comes up to about three foot, I need braces across the, the uh, uh, horizontal braces. So that's kind of a pain in the neck. But... Hey, look, that material was gifted to me from Knitwire. Uh, it's really good stuff, so I can't wait to get on it and get it going. Here's the finished pond. And what's funny is these redfoots, man, even with that black shell and the heat of the day, they just come right out. They want to see what I'm doing. We had some heavy rains this last few days. Uh, they did well, as you guys have seen in some of the other videos. But really, really excited on how those guys are doing. All right. Up we go towards the back of the big recreation pond. And I want to see the blue iguanas. There they are. Hey, guys. This guy. Oh, look. You didn't finish all your food? Why not? Now, why didn't you finish? Usually, they finish everything. Maybe they weren't that hungry. But I'll pull this out. So I pull out the uh missouri diet because it can spoil and they can get sick here's the female she's still shy all right and then of course there's the male now oh, they're both kind of still shy lizards and they're starting to do a little territorial nonsense but that happens eventually these guys are going to move over into the larger enclosure all right Whew. I did tons of work back here in the last uh, week. I got motivated and for two days I trimmed and pulled weeds and trimmed down papaya, excuse me, papyrus, um, you know, so it's easier to walk through. I had noticed after my trip out west, when I came home, the pond was in need of some love and attention. So I got in here, I trimmed out, thinned it all out. And this is going to allow everything to come back even stronger. And actually, by removing the vegetation, you remove a lot of nitrates in the water because the plants are storing it in their bodies, in the, in the plants or in the organism of the plant. And uh, when you remove that, you're going to help out with the water quality here. And that's exactly what happened. So I was very, very excited about that. Super stoked that the... Uh-oh. Uh that the water cleared up pretty quick after I did that. Just a little bit of attention to the ponds. 
and they do well. So here's Peter and Colin. These guys ate not long ago, and don't worry, they didn't get into a fight. But they do get super, um, they have a crazy feed response. So we won't get too close because I'm sure they'll try and snap at the camera. And we don't want to do that. Very nice. All right, man, there you go. Just a quick little jaunt around the yard. We didn't see uh, the big glops, did we? You want to see them? Let's end on the big guys. Here's the pond, and there's always turtles here. Wait, look at everybody. They hear my voice. They come over and they're waiting for some food. Uh, they're doing well, all the pond turtles. Let's go see. Let's go see the kids up front. And then I'll say goodbye because I got to get to work. But let's go see them. I even have to fill up their water. That's the other thing. I just drained their water too, so I got to get them all set up. The truck's chilling. Really, really stoked on that monster. I was out riding my bike this morning. That was a lot of fun. So I get ready, man. I don't do cups of coffee in the morning. I wake up early, get on the bike, get a good ride, get a good workout, and then I'm ready to get out here and do my thing. So, all right, let's go say hello and goodbye by visiting Darwin, Socrates, and Nostradamus. They should be waking up by now, to be perfectly honest. They're usually not too far. Hey, what's going on, Darwin? Hi, big girl. Oh, look at everybody's here. Hi, sweetheart. I love my girls and boys. There's Nostradamus. Beautiful, beautiful crew of tortoises. And it's such an honor to have these species. These two I got in 2000, uh, 2004, August again, I got uh, that animal. And then in 2005, I was able to acquire Socrates. And then there is Darwin. Got her, I think, in 2013, maybe? Has it been just about seven years? I am not sure. But I love her. And uh, I hope you guys love her too. And I hope you guys enjoy the channel today. Mellow video, guys, because it was a mellow day. Okay? We don't always have to go running around, jumping on things. Sometimes it's fun just to appreciate what we have, relax, check up on them. This is how we know if the animals are doing well. And these guys certainly are. So I'm about to break an ankle here. You gotta be careful with these big guys. So, uh, all right, everyone. I just wanna say thanks for joining me today on this video adventure through the camp to check on everybody and just show you how everybody's doing here at Camp Kennan. I hope all the animals are doing well wherever you may be and that you're doing well too. Crazy times we're living in, we'll make it through. And it'll be better. It's always darkest before the dawn. I don't even think it's that dark, but you know what I mean. People are freaking out out there. Let's, uh, let's maintain. All right, everyone, thanks so much. Thanks for liking and sharing all the videos. You guys have just been amazing. And I'll see you all soon. Take care.